I mean, considering the events that recently took place against the Washington Capitals, you almost had to expect this one was coming out sooner or later. In case you're new to this series, in this video, we're going to go over and attempt to dissect a select number of what we call jerk moments from Sid the Kid. As in, we'll be taking a look at a handful of times that Crosby decided to show shades of vintage Sid. From embellishing, elbowing, to body slamming, this list definitely has it all. And with that, here is a continuation of the top jerk moments from Sidney Crosby. Last season in the Big Apple, amid a Penguins power play during the final period of play, Crosby began to show some frustration in the Rangers zone. As the captain was attempting to establish a net front presence on the man advantage, he was tripped by Rangers netminder Igor Shesterkin. Even though the trip, in hindsight, does appear to be accidental, Crosby didn't exactly see it that way, and proceeded to bump into Shesterkin with intent, which resulted in a goaltender interference penalty for the perpetrator. Now, when I mentioned the term vintage Sid earlier, it was partially due to the forward's theatrics that he routinely displayed, especially early on in his career. But even still, as he's aged every so often, we've witnessed Crosby reverting back to being the fragile whiner that he used to be in his younger years. And during a game against the Bruins last regular season, it quickly became clear in the final minutes of the contest that Crosby had been fine-tuning his acting skills. As a captain, assumed face-off duties at center ice, Patrice Bergeron, who was also taking the draw, clipped Crosby with the butt end of his stick. Now clearly, it's blatantly obvious here that some contact was made, but it's Crosby's overreaction to it that's caused for this moment to be on this list to begin with. Following the play, Bergeron was given a double minor for the high stick on his opponent in result. Earlier last decade, the Pittsburgh Penguins and Boston Bruins had developed quite the rivalry between each other, due to, in part, clashing in the postseason on multiple occasions. And it was during a series in 2013 that the two teams did exactly that. At the forefront of the conflict, oftentimes, was the Penguins captain himself who, during Game 1 of the Eastern Conference Finals, decided to do many NHL fans a favor in some regards by laying out an elbow to the face of Brad Marchand. Interestingly, this wasn't the last time that Crosby would decide to give Marchand a taste of his own medicine, as Crosby, years later, could be shown kneeing number 63 in the neutral zone. Anyways, after giving Marchand a taste of what his elbow tasted like, Crosby was assessed an interference penalty for his actions. In case you don't already know, the Washington Capitals and Pittsburgh Penguins don't particularly care for one another. In fact, the two metropolitan teams have seemingly been at odds ever since Crosby and Alex Ovechkin first entered the league. Therefore, it's no surprise that Crosby has displayed a sizable chunk of his jerk moments against the Capitals over the years, one of which transpired in the Steel City last season. While Nick Dowd and Chad Ruedel were battling for puck possession in the Penguins' end, Crosby decided he was going to insert himself into the equation, as number 87 skated towards Dowd, who had then turned in an attempt to pass the puck. The forward then became the victim of a vicious slew foot and could be heard screaming in pain from the ice surface. But as play was halted, it then became clear that the officials decided to penalize the wrong player and issued Chad Ruedel a tripping penalty. Now we can clearly see the defenseman's stick engaging with Dowd's leg on the play, but obviously that's much more innocent than a blatant slew foot which took place simultaneously. Anyways, the ongoing theme for the remainder of the video is once the golden child, always the golden child. After missing over a month of the season due to injury and illness, Crosby made his second appearance of the 2021-2022 campaign in DC against the Capitals. But despite his return, the Penguins appeared to be no match for Ovechkin and his team, and by the final period of play, it had become increasingly apparent that Crosby was pretty frustrated due to the overall situation. Before the captain decided to engage with Evgeny Kuznetsov, he first honed his inner wrestler at the start of the third period 
period. After taking one of his three shots he would take in the contest, Crosby decided to take his frustrations out on rookie defenseman Martin Ferrivari, as Crosby could be shown grabbing Ferrivari and tossing him into the boards. Despite the fact that a referee was nearby, nothing was called, and play continued. Obviously, for many, even though the rookie was okay, thankfully, the inability for the officials to punish Crosby in-game was disheartening, and the pattern of turning a blind eye extended to the league as well, as Crosby didn't have a hearing thereafter and received no supplemental discipline in result.